In this second short clip, what I want to do is to just introduce the concept of a Nash equilibrium. Right. And we introduce that concept because it is a solution for strategic games that I introduced in the previous. Now, if you have a look at the definition in Osborne on page 19 or so, you'll see it looks a little bit complicated. But I'll show you in this clip that when you apply it to an example like the prisoner's dilemma here, it's reasonably straightforward to identify. And then we'll look at quicker methods to find the Nash equilibria as a solution later. All right, so let's have a look at the Nash equilibria in this problem. What's the key idea? The key idea in a Nash equilibria is that it's a choice of strategies by all players say think think such that if either player changes their mind then they will do worse off that's the key thing the Nash equilibria is any outcome in this square in this matrix so that if either player changes their mind changes their action they are worse off right, so let's see that this outcome here is the only Nash equilibria in prisoner's dilemma. Okay. Why does it occur? Well, let's have a look. This outcome here is got preference one for Alice. Suppose she changes her mind and Bob does not, because that's how the Nash equilibria is defined. Then if she changes her mind to be quiet instead of thinking, the outcome is worse for her, it's got preference zero. Here, this is preference one, it's more preferred than this. So, so Alice has no incentive to change from this outcome. Analogously from Bob's viewpoint, this is also his uh, preference ranked one. Uh, um, if Alice is going to think, and Bob says, well, should I change from thinking? Should I be quiet? The answer is no, because if Alice, if he changes to being quiet, and Alice is still thinking, then his outcome is worse. Preference zero. He always prefers this over that. So that's why this is deemed to be a solution. Or well, that's thought to be a solution of the game, because if both people are playing this strategy, neither have an incentive to change. Right, so that's now, are there any other Nash equilibria? And there can be in some games, but not this one. This one's only got one Nash equilibria. And you can see that. Okay, let's have a look at any one of these other squares. Suppose you look at uh, this square here. Why is this not a Nash equilibria? Well, if Alice changes her mind, because this is the most preferred option for Alice, then of course she's going to do worse off, so she's not going to change. But Bob has an incentive to change. This is the worst outcome for him, and so this cannot be an Ash equilibria because if he changes his mind to this one, from quiet to think, then he does better. And that contradicts the definition of what a Nash equilibria is. So this is not one. Similarly for this square, you just swap the roles of Alice and Bob. What about this outcome? Can this be a Nash equilibria? The answer is no. Because you have a look. Um, if they're both being quiet, Alice can think and be better off because three is better than two. Equivalently, Bob can think and be better off because three is better than two. So neither of them, or both of them, have an incentive to change here. And that's why this is not a Nash equilibrium. So the only one is this state of think, think. And that's, of course, why it's, there's so much incentive for prisoners to confess to crimes when they're in a team. And that's all there is to a Nash equilibrium. Of course, it's a bit more complicated than that when you've got more players, more actions more possibilities, but that's essentially it. 
and most of the time we call that the solution of the game. The, one of the interesting things is that there can be more than one Nash equilibria, uh, so that there is multiple possibilities for the solution of the game, and we won't explore that too far. Uh, a little bit of probability can help rationalise it sometimes, and we will look at that. Um, sometimes if the game is made up of a number of stages, there is additional information which helps determine one of the Nash equilibria over another. We will not explore that issue. At the moment, work through the examples, other examples of games, and find them Nash equilibrium.